Hi guys, my name is Prices D and we are back on solving crimes or mysteries. Um, today we're going to play the case of the invisible wizard. If I read it right. This is us from the previous parte. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. Hi, Detective. Hi, Supervisor. Why did you hang up on me? Huh? You were talking just a moment ago about a new case. The one at Warlock Woods, right? Yeah. I hung up because I got too excited about solving another mystery. That's understandable. What can you tell me about this new case? It's a doozy, Detective. Hold on to your hat. Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, Warlock Woods is a fairly small town up north. They don't get many visitors around there. A couple of days ago, a new resident moved in. A shy kind of gal. Doesn't like to be the center of attention. Anyway, she settles into an the new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly, so they organize a welcoming parade. Great idea. Absolutely, but someone in the town seemed to think otherwise. Last night, the parade decorations were destroyed. What? I know, right? So rude. Nobody has any leads on this case. They don't know what, who done it. That's where you come in, detective. That's me. I'm the detective. I am aware. Warlock Woods is a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. You'll need to take an enchanted car to the end of the line, then travel the rest of the way on foot. Too easy. You'll need to question everybody to get to the bottom of things. Do you think you can solve the mystery? Hmm. Yep. Great. Hop to it. Haha. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. The new resident of the wood is... special. She's... invisible. Ah, that was loud. And a wizard. An invisible wizard. Cool. Um, what's the relevance of her being invisible? Nobody knows what she looks like, so they're really excited to find out. Hence the parade and the decorations and the celebrations. They want her to be invisible. The invisible. Uh, visible. Exactly. Anyway. Do you have everything you need? Um, I have my shoes, my jumper, my pants. I think I'm missing something. Your magnifying glass. Of course. It's on the table next to the door. Once you pick it up, you'll be ready to solve the mystery. Thank you, supervisor. Good luck, detective. Okay. H how are we supposed to find the invisible wizard if she's invisible? Ah, my trusty magnifying glass. I can't solve mysteries without it. Well, maybe I could, but I wouldn't, wouldn't want to. Makes sense. That's fine. Yeah, so how are we supposed to actually find... Oh. How, how, how... There we go. How, yeah, how, how do we find her? Oh, we haven't seen this. The lobster cop, right? Yeah, lobster cop. Hiya. He's cool. He looks a tiny bit creepy. That smile and the and the white eyes. Ah, is the famous frog detective. But famous? I'm not famous. Uh, perhaps not, but I'm sure you will be soon. Wow, I hope so. What brings you to my office, detective? Um, well, I was just leaving my office, actually. I work next door, right here. Oh, I thought that was a cupboard. Wow. Nope, that's my office. I've been putting all my cleaning supplies in there. Yes, I've noticed. I mean, they're working every time you do it. <laughs> oh my god, that's so sad. Well, like Loki, rude. Even say this is my office, and then you say sure, sure is a little cleaning frog, and then I say I'm a crime-solving frog, not a cleaning frog. 
But usually you're gone already. Excuse my ignorance, detective. I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy, head full of mystery. Sometimes I forget to be polite. I don't like him. He's rude. If I was polite all the time, I would never have time to solve crimes. I understand. Oh. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, Lobster Cop. Perhaps. But detective, you must keep trying. Never give up. I can give you some tips if you like. Wow, yes please. Tip number one. Pay attention. I would fail already. You should make sure you are looking at things and paying attention to words. Yes, quite right. Tip number two. Everyone is a suspect. Even you. I will suspect myself much more from now on. Good call. Tip number three. Carry a notebook. Oh, I'm not really big on books. They are, without exception, factually inaccurate. <laughs> Detective, don't be foolish. A book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you're writing facts. I suppose you're right. I don't have a notebook though. Well, it's your lucky day. I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it all you like. Wow, really? Yup, there are stickers you can use too. I bought them with all my crime solving money. Cool. Unless you get to a detective, head into my office when you're ready to decorate. Okay, thanks, Lobster Cop. That's cool, because we got our own notebook in real life. Oh, that is cute. Hmm, which stickers should I pick and where should they go? We can actually. Oh my god. Oh, this is the best game ever. Okay, this flower goes here. Oh. Oh, I would love to rotate. But whatever. Can I do both? Like this. Can I put it on top? Wait, can I rotate? Oh. Oh, this changes everything. Oh my god. Okay, I will take some time with this because I like things like this. Oh my god, I can give myself a hat. Oh my god, it's so cute. Okay, I think I'm done. We have some hearts going on here. We have the flower that I started with. And then we have me the hat on because if we can wear hats in real life we can at least make that dream come true through stickers and then a uh, magnifying glass because that's my thing you know yeah i'm happy with this wait no i want the hearts to be more scattered across the whole thing hmm? that's better there you go okay we got our super cute notebook love that okay so ooh. oh my god i'm loving this my things invisible wizard oh i love this okay okay okay, okay. cool Oh. Cool. Very cool. Oh. Okay. Bye. Thank you for the notebook. Oh. I'm so cute. Oh. How can I be a detective and barely open a door? Time to solve another mystery. Let's go. Spooky. I love that. <laughs> I'm so cute. <laughs> I just died a little bit. I died of a 
cute we are. I like frogs. I think. The detective. Oh, we got to see the cast. Susan. Oh, she's cute. Oh. <laughs> These animals are so cute. <laughs> We have a dog? Oh, I'm excited. I want to see the dog. There's no road there. Anyways. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Is this where the dog lives? Wait, I want to look around and see if we, we got a dog. Hello, wizard. Okay, so that's her house. Is this a dog? Okay, wait. Mm. Let's start with Susan. Yeah. Oh my god, I remember names. Oh my stars. It's you. It's me. The famous lobster cop. I really thought you'd be a lobster. Ah, no. I'm a frog. Yeah, why is your name Lobster Cop? I have to tell you something. Huh? I am not Lobster Cop. Why not? I don't know how to answer that. Who are you? I'm the detective. Uh, frog detective. I see. Was Lobster Cop not available? Unfortunately not. Well, I think you'll do just fine. Thanks. I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contacted the agency, which I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. Oh, I didn't know that was how it worked. You should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think you should still question me, though, to remove all doubt. Okay. Question me all you like. Okay, so wait, we are dealing with an invisible wizard that trashed the whole place. So I'm already assuming since she was very, I'll say introverted, I'm guessing, because she was like very kept to herself, that she trashed it because she didn't want that party. That's like my thought, my guess, my wild guess, but we'll see. About the wizard. Do you know the wizard personally? Nobody knows her personally. Well, not here at least. Not me. Right. But it had a lot to do with the organization of the parade. And I was the one to start the investigation. You mentioned that. It's worth bringing up again. Not really. So you were fine with her moving to the town? Absolutely. That old house has been empty for years. It's really nice at the moment. Wants to live here there. It needs a lot of fixing up, but it'll look nice soon, I think. Plus, it's always exciting to have a new neighbor. Sure is. I put up a sign I made for the wizard, but it got knocked down last night. I'm feeling pretty sad about it, if I'm honest. Okay. I know you're here to solve the mystery, but I just need to tell someone how I feel. You can talk to me about it. Thank you. I'm not a professional sign maker yet. But I worked really hard on this sign. Really, I struggled to understand why someone would knock it down. It feels so heartless, and now I'm not sure who to trust. I thought everyone here would be thrilled to have a new neighbor. It's a tricky situation, for sure. Some people are protective of their communities, and think new people are going to change things for the worse. That's always, but that's almost never the case. New people make places better because they bring new perspectives, especially in small communities. Hopefully it's just a misunderstanding misunderstanding or a mistake. I like to believe people are good. That being said, I'm treating everyone as a suspect. But not me, right. Even you, especially you. Especially me? Oh, no. Sorry, not sure why I said that. We are not off the hook just yet. Hook. That's it, detective, could you please find me a hook? I could hang the sign back up with it. Oh, okay. I'll do my best. Question me all you like. 
Where were you on the night in question? I was at home knitting a jumper for the wizard. Really? Yeah. I picked all the colors myself and everything. Thought I, I'll admit it's a bit hard to focus on knitting. Why is that? I get so distracted by the wool. It's so fun to play with. Oh, she's a cat. I, why didn't I put those two together? I play with it so much that I unravel the whole thing and it goes everywhere. It's a big... Oof. Every... I've noticed that every episode... There's always words that I struggle pronouncing or like don't know how to pronounce. And it's... Like literally every episode. <sighs> n let me just google how to pronounce it. I'm so done. Okay, I'm back and I know my English. It's a big nuisance. I understand. Imagine if I google and I, and I mess and I still mess it up. Anyways. <clears throat> but I was concentrating on knitting so much that I didn't notice the destruction, destruction of the parade. I'm sorry. Did you notice anything at all? Hmm, now that I think of it, I saw a big van out near the entrance to Warlock Woods. It didn't drive in or I would have heard it. I didn't worry about it at, at the time, of course. That's all I remember, sorry. No worries. Uh, okay, so we are the- okay, big- did she say black van? Wait, let me read. Motive. Maybe she didn't like her sign. Destroy the parade out of embarrassment. <laughs> Could be me. Needs something to fix her sign. Notes. Insists she's not suspicious. This makes her much more suspicious than she realizes. Upset about the parade being destroyed. Worked really hard on her sign. So a van near the entrance last night. This is so cute that I can. Okay, d d let's close for now. Let's not put labels yet. Hello, Mr. or Mrs. Hello. Hello. Frog. Hello, what's your name? I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. You too. Did you like my song? Mm, yep. I've been practicing all day and all night. Oh, are you okay? Um tired uh maybe you should get some sleep maybe <laughs> imagine how cringe you would be in real life like what the fuck you sing very loudly yep and why everyone i'm why everyone soundproofed their houses that sounds expensive yeah but that's not really my problem i think i sound very good even late at night how late i love to sing at 3 a.m 3 a.m damn Get help. Wow. That's when my energy is the highest. Okay, I get that though. I get that though. I should maybe get help too. That doesn't sound very healthy. My health is my business. Oh yes, that's true. Sorry. That's okay. Maybe I should listen to some soft sounds before bed. Welcome. To Wait, can I whisper? Will it pick up? Welcome to my hair salon. That will be 100 money. I don't have any hair or any money. That's okay, you can pay me back later. I wonder if that picked up. I wonder if it sounded like really fucking creepy or horrible. I'm sorry. Just joking. Anyway, who are you? I'm the detective. Oh, cool. Can you question me? Do you mind if I ask? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh boy, I love questions. What were you doing when the parade was destroyed? Oh boy, yeah. Sucks that the parade was destroyed. Oh, we're doing questioning. What was I doing? Not much, just singing outside. You were outside when the parade was destroyed? Yeah. Did you see anything? Yeah. <laughs> what did you see? Detective? Have you heard of extortion? Yes. That's great news. Is it? Detective, I would like to extort you. 
I don't think that's legal. I am above the law. Oh, why are you extorting me? I would like five money for a train ticket. I don't have any money. Well, you best get some soon. What do you need a train ticket for? I want to go to Froggy Wood and become a star. Oh, that sounds exciting. I know, right? Sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't really have many other ways to get there. I figure if you get the money for me, I can finally go and live my dreams. What will you give me in exchange? Information? What kind of information? A phone number? Who am I calling? I can't tell you that. All I can say is that they were in the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. I don't think you'll be able to solve the case without this phone number. Hence the extortion. Sorry. It's okay, we all get extorted, extorted every now and then. Yeah, anyway, come back to me when you have my money. Oh boy, I love Christians. Okay. What do you know about the wizard that moved in? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Oh, sorry, I didn't actually hear you. Oh my god, that's so, that's so relatable. Oh my god. Ah, uh, I was asking about the wizard. Oh, yeah, there's a wizard. She just moved in. Why? I'm a de detective. Right, this is part of the questioning, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, so I didn't do any crimes or anything, and I have the right to remain silent. Yeah, but do you want to remain silent? Haha, <laughs> literally never. <laughs> so, like, I heard the, that Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. Also, I heard that Mandy was in a bad mood the night that the parade was destroyed. And I heard that Naughty, like, attacked the wizard one time. And that's all, actually. Does this make me a snitch? I think so. <laughs> Rats. Oh boy, I love Christians. Oh. I like Mary. She's relatable. Okay, what does uh, Froggy say about her? Perhaps the wizard is a better singer than her. Needs. Five money. <laughs> Sings really loudly all the time. Everyone soundproof their houses. Wants to be a big star. Is extorting me. I have never been extorted before. What a thrill. Okay. Who is this? Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. Rip. Oh. He's selling stuff. Oh my god, that's from... Uh, I recognize it. I think it was in the, in the previous thing. Oh. I didn't even notice. I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'll hold on to it for now. Cool, cool, cool. I like pie. I really love what they did with, uh, like, how they upgraded, I guess, the game. Evolved? Oh my god! <laughs> love that. Okay, cool. A customer. Welcome to Carlos All Things You Could Need Shop. Are you Carlos? Yes, just like the name of the shop. That's me. Uh, how cool is that? The shop has my name in it. So cool. My company also has my name in it. What's your company called? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. What's your name? Crime? Oh, no. I'm the Frog Detective. That's not really a name though. More of a title. Oh, I suppose you're right. My shop actually has my name in it. Cool. I'm jealous. Thanks. Here in Warlock Woods, we are all our biggest fans. Being conceited is a societal construct we have rejected it hence why my shop is so popular fuck sake i sell por portraits among other things wow that's great my office neighbor lobster cop has a picture of himself right above his desk you know lobster cop <clears throat> whoa my voice what the fuck am i getting sick <coughs> what yep Holy heck, I've been a fan forever. You know he solved the mystery of the haunted island recently. That was me. Yo, my voice, am I okay?
Like, actually, what? Why is my voice being so weird? Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, I don't think... Huh? It was actually me that solved it. Wait, really? It was all over TV. The dance competition had a lobster in it. Oh, you must think of... You must be thinking of Larry. You mean small Larry? No, this was a regular sized lobster. Uh, no. Larry's a regular sized lobster. Not the Larry I know. Oh well. Agree to disagree. I really did solve that mystery. It was me, the detective. Hmm, that's really cool. Thanks. So you're like the second best detective, I suppose? Yeah. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Okay. What would you like to know? <sighs> Where were you last night? Just here in my shop. What about when you closed up? My shop doesn't close. It's a, it's 24 hours. What if someone needs a portrait of themselves at 4 a.m.? You're open all the time? Sure I am. Of course, I sleep and eat and look after myself. My customers simply wake me up if they need to buy anything. Where do you sleep? I sleep standing up. Years of training. I'm the most committed shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Also the only shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Do you ever take breaks? Hmm, sometimes, but I really like it here in my shop. It's where I feel most at home. The extreme shopkeeper lifestyle isn't for everyone, but I take so much joy from my work. Me too, although I must request that you look after yourself and close the shop if you need a break. Okay, I promise. Anyway. Did you see anything last night? Nothing particularly interesting. Why? Uh, the crime? Huh? Hmm. I think I need to question you a bit more. Go for it. What do you know about the new wizard that just moved in? Uh, who? The invisible wizard that moved in literally next door. Wait, really? Someone moved in? Yeah. That place has been empty for ages. I gotta say hi. Well, the parade was meant to be for saying hi. Parade? The parade? <laughs> That's me. I'm that clueless. The parade that everyone has been pre prepping for. Wow, how nice. Can't wait. It was destroyed last night. What? <laughs> this conversation is a roller coaster of information. I have literally no idea what's happening. You weren't involved in the decoration at all? Nope. Should I offer to help now? Wait, who is the parade for again? Is it for me? No, it's for the invisible wizard. She just moved in next door. Right, okay. Uh, oh dear. The party hats. Pardon? Every time we throw a parade, everyone has a party ha has party hats to wear. Mine was ruined at the last parade. I've been try I've been too busy working in my shop to buy a new one. Oh no! How embarrassing! I can't show up. To the parade without one. Do you think it's too late to order one online? It will be tight. You're right. Ugh, what should I do? Don't stress. I'll track one down for you before the parade starts. Oh my gosh. Thank you, detective. In the meantime, I'll figure out a way to repay you. Unfortunately, I don't have any frog portraits just yet. Not a problem. What would you like to know? Okay, well done. Next person. Ooh, Carlos. Motive. Could be worried the wizard doesn't shop locally. He needs a party hat. Mr. Boy. Worked really hard. Didn't know anything that happened. Anything had happened. Seems stressed about the parade. Doesn't have a hat. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on. Hello, is anyone home? It sounds like somebody's inside, but I shouldn't intrude on them. I'll come back another time. Oh, I can see the wizard. <laughs> Cute. Oh. Hello, that's very cute. Victor, Victor, Victor. Hmm. Okay, anyways. Hi. 
Hello. Want to hop in? A little bit, but I'm not. A, but I'm on a case. Oh, cool. I'm Victor. How are you? The detective. Who are you? Oh my god. I cannot read. Is that your real name? Maybe. Cool. Cool. Are you here to question me and stuff? Because, like, I'm not suspicious. How do you know you're not suspicious? Well, I think I didn't do it. You think? Yeah, nobody knows anything for certain these days. So why are you here swimming? I'm visiting my friend, Nadi. Oh, she's the only person I know with a hot tub. Plus, I heard there were gonna be delicious pies for the parade, so the timing was perfect. I, I took a pie. Where do you live normally? Over near Pumpkinville. Nice spot. I was thinking of taking a holiday there at some point. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Um, so anyway, can I ask you some questions about the case? Yeah, whatever. Questions. Did you know much about the invisible wizard before you came here? Uh, not really. I knew that parade was for her, but beyond that, I don't know a lot. I'm knowing that they never threw a parade for me coming to visit. I'm super cool. Have you been here before? So many times. The first time they even threw me a parade. Okay, I take the parade thing back. I just pretend that just pretend I didn't say that. Sure. Detective, I'm really bored of this conversation. I'm sorry if that's rude, but I have a new policy of being honest with people. Were you dishonest before? Yeah, I guess. I wouldn't tell people when they were boring me. I don't think that counts as dishonesty. So what am I supposed to do when people are boring? I'm not sure, but probably don't tell them. It would hurt their feelings. Do tell, please. I didn't hurt your feelings though, did I? Well, I have to admit I was a bit hurt. I have a very exciting job and I'm a frog and I solve mysteries. I don't think I'm boring at all. Sure, but I've seen heaps of frogs before. Plus, I've solved my fair share of crimes. Which crimes? This one. You solved the crime already? Yeah. Ralph did it. How do you know? Um, good point. I haven't decided that bit yet. But it seems likely that he did it. What was his motive? His what? Uh, motive. The reason for destroying the parade. Oh, um, I think because he has an eye patch on. <laughs> Bro. I don't think that's a real motive. That doesn't make any sense. Now, who's the rude one? This conversation isn't going anywhere. Neither are you, apparently. <laughs> I love him. Not only... Not until I solve the mystery. I'm sorry for being rude, detective. I mean it. I just got so grumpy when I'm hungry. Why don't you eat something? And get out of the hot tub? No, I must continue to soak. We could ask someone to get you something to eat. We have a pie. Like who? There's nobody here. I am here. Right. There I go being rude again. If you happen to find food, I would love to have some. In the meantime, I would like to apologize for being so rude. Please take one money as an apology. I got one money. Wow, we are rich. Um. Yeah, ask first. Where were you when the parade was destroyed? Well, I had been swimming all day in Nadi's hot tub, so I was super wrinkly. Yeah. And it was hard for me to get inside the house because of my wrinkly hooves. Uh-huh. So I waited for about half an hour for the wrinkles to, to de-wrinkle. Yep. And then I went inside to Nadi's house and snoozed on the couch all night. What time was that? All night. No, I mean, what time did you get back into Nadi's house? Before the parade was destroyed. It wasn't me. Probably wasn't me, I mean. Can't be sure. But 90% probability that it wasn't me. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Hello, Victor. I have a pie for you. Detective, where did you find this pie? I found it on the ground. Sorry, Detective, you may have to speak up. These hot tub jets are mighty loud. I found this pie on the ground over there. Detective, I do not want to eat ground pie. I have made a mistake. I say maybe even two. Two mistakes? 
Yes, one mistake for giving me a dirty pie and another mistake for giving me a pie. That does not belong to you. That's right, detective. Though I am visiting from out of town, I know what this is. That this is one of Mandy's pies. They are delicious. If you just happen to find it on the ground, it cannot be yours to give away, so I cannot accept it. You're right, Victor. I have made two mistakes. I am sorry, and I am sorry. That's okay, detective. But I'll be watching you. You should return this pie to Mandy. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, rip. We gotta find... Other. <laughs> we gotta go find... Uh, Mandy. It won't be hard, but like... I don't want to give away my pie. Hadn't eaten, couldn't have been jealous of the parade. Could have been jealous. Need something to eat. Such a rude individual. Perhaps only rude because of hunger. Maybe just rude in general. Doesn't live here, only visiting. I want to visit Pumpkinville. Okay. Good notes, detective. Okay. Who that? Ralph. Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. Why are you yelling? That sentence. Yeah, I think it's from a song. I'm just making sure you can hear me. I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You are very small. Might be difficult for you to hear. I'm small, but I'm also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. Are you sure? You can hear me at this volume? Yes. Weird. <laughs> I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. Really? Yes. But you're so small. I'm of average frog height. Hmm. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Questioning me, huh? How do you feel about the wizard moving in? Hmm. It's nothing against the wizard, but I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while now, and our space is big. Who was... Who was Os Oscar? No. Victor. I don't remember the name. Who was he visiting? The hot tub guy? He was sussing Ralph though. Anyways. I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while now and our space is big. But I would really like my own play my own home. Oh, I'd been eyeing off that old house for ages. I thought maybe I'd move in one day. But the wizard got there first. I see. It's my fault, I guess. I shouldn't hold it against the wizard. Hmm. This house is twice as big as all the other houses. Maybe you could renovate it and turn it, to, turn it into two houses? You could split it down the middle. Or have one house upstairs and one downstairs. Like an apartment. That's a pretty cool idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. I understand. I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Hmm, I'll see if I can track some down for you. Thanks for your help, detective. Maybe if I do a good job, I'll get my own building show. Building, yeah. Did I read that right? I'm excited to see it. Questioning me, huh? May I ask why you have an eye patch on? That's Ralph's business. Oh. It'd be really good for me to know why you have an eye patch. Sometimes, sometimes a boy just wants to wear an eye patch. That shouldn't make me suspicious. You put it on for fashion? Kinda. Detective, I don't want to get into this too much, but I watched a movie last night about pirates, and I loved it. And there's another three left. Three whole movies. Can you believe it? Sequels? I've never heard of a movie having a sequel before. I know, right? Usually sequels are reserved for video games. Yes, it's extremely normal to have a video game sequel, especially for games with large audiences like the Toad Investigation series. 
Yeah. Anyway, I was watching a pirate movie last night. That's where I was. And for that reason, I have decided to wear an eye patch. Okay. I'll leave it at that. My thanks. Questioning me. No. No, I'm not. I'm done with the questions. Thank you very much. Ralph. In true pirate fashion, wanted to cause a ruckus. Building supplies. Love pirates. I patch is cosmetic only. A private boy. Wants to renovate. Thinks I'm too small. I'm not. Cute. Okay, so we have talked with everyone by their houses. There's only these two people left? Okay. Oh, Mandy. Nice. Or did it, you're the detective, right? I'm Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Be careful when you step, detective. There's mess everywhere. I'm used to mess. Lucky you. I'm not. My shoes are brand new. I can't get them dirty. Why don't you change shoes? shoes? Detective? Are you joking? I can't wear flats while with this look. The proportions would be all wrong. Besides, these shoes are enchanted. Oh? I'm one of the few actual witches here in Warlock Woods. Most folks here are just fans of the spooky. Which is fine and all, but it means a lot of the cleaning work will be mine to do. I never should have learned that titting, titting up spell. It shouldn't take too long for me to clean up this mess, but first I need to find all my pies. What happened to your pies? Same thing that happens everywhere. Someone thought it'd be funny to knock them all over. So annoying, I spent ages making them. Ah, I see. Well, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Tell me what you want to know. Uh, do you need help finding your pies? Yes, detective. Seriously. I seriously need help. Straight up. I can't see anything right now. <laughs> These glasses are so dark. It's unreal. I'm such a dingus. This town is literally cloaked in the eternal night. Why did I think sunglasses would be a good idea? They weren't a good idea. However, I don't regret it. They make me look amazing. Do you think I look amazing? Yup. Thanks. I do too. Worst purchase I've ever made in terms of practicality, but it brings this look to a new level. I may be a dingus, but I'm very stylish dingus. Fact. Uh, what were we talking about? Outfit. No, before that. Pies. Right, you offered to help pick up my pies. I'm missing quite a few. If you could bring them to me, I'd be happy to clean them all up and give you one as a payment. Okay, sounds like fun. Neat. Thanks, detective. Um, okay. Where were you last night? Doing heaps of push-ups and getting ripped. Just kidding. I was on whizbay.net, where magic happens. What were you doing? Bidding on some new shoes. We just got these ones. Yeah, but the ones I was bidding on would go super well with this blue dress I have. Wow, cool. I know. I didn't win, though. Who got the shoes? Not sure. All I know is their screen name. Someone called Dizzy Wizzy 109 Sorry to hear it. How did you feel when you lost? A bit defeated. I went from a midnight stroll to cool off. But then I saw someone in the distance. It was a pretty foggy night, so I couldn't see much, but they were carrying a large box. I couldn't see what they looked like, but they definitely weren't from here. It felt like they were waiting for someone. I didn't think too much of it and went home. Hmm, did you hear any noises after that? No, my house is soundproof. Ever since Mary has taken up singing, it's kind of a necessity around here. I only saw the mist in the morning. Interesting. That is interesting. I'm thinking that Dizzy Wizzy 109 is the, the wizard. I'm suspecting. Uh, Mandy, detective. I have found some of your pies. Wonderful. Now there's only four left to find. I'll hop to it. Cool. <laughs> Such a cute picture. 
Upset about not winning the shoes, perhaps took it out on the parade, helped finding her five pies. Last night was on this bay bidding for shoes. Someone knocked her pies over, what a bummer. S schooled me about fashion, fair enough. Real witch spooky. Oh. Um. Okay. Oh? Who that? Anyways, last person to talk to. Cool, cool, cool. <gasps> I found a pie. It's the last pie. Wait, isn't this like right by the hot tub? Am I tripping? It is. The dude could have just literally got it himself. What the? What the frick? Okay, let's talk to the last person. Let's focus. Naughty. Yeah. He was visiting her, I'm pretty sure. What? Huh? Who are you? The detective? Oh. I thought Lobster Cop was coming. Huh? What? Did you say something about Lobster Cop? No. But I heard... Can this frog read my mind? Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like this. Whoa. Is this what telepathy is? Can you hear this frog? You're saying everything out loud. Wow, this frog has a temper. <laughs> anyway, who are you? I'm Nadi. Okay. I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. Okay. Was it you that asked for me to come? No. I would have asked for lobster cock. I really need to emphasize that I can hear you. Stop listening. Okay. <laughs> can I ask some questions about the case? I guess so. Tell me what you want to know. Uh, what can you tell me about last night? Nothing. Oh. But I can tell you about the wizard. I know basically everything there is to know about her. That's great. First of all, she's a wizard. Uh-huh. And she's invisible. Great. And she just moved in. Yep. And... She's a wizard. I think you mentioned that. No, I don't think I did. Right, okay. Sorry. It's fine. Anyway. Tell me what you want to know. About... The okay, sure. So how do you feel about the wizard coming to live here? Uh... Oh, heck. How do I answer this? Well, I'm happy she's here, but that house has been empty for ages, and I didn't know she was coming, right? Nobody told me, you see. Aren't you the mayor? I think so. Anyway, she kind of came at... What the fuck? She kind of came at a weird time of night. And I, well, I thought that she was a ghost. Oh. Yeah, it was a bit messy. Oh? I tried to vacuum her up. With the vacuum. I put it on the highest setting. Just really went to town with the vacuum. I think I really freaked her out. And now she won't come out of the house. Um. Please don't put me in jail. <laughs> You're not going to jail. Jail isn't real. But you should probably apologize. Okay, sorry detective. I mean to the wizard. Right, yeah. That's why I was helping with the parade. To apologize. But she hasn't been out of her house. Also, the parade is ruined. This makes me sound really bad. I swear I wanted the parade to be lovely. As the mayor of the town, I booked a live band to play a song, but as you can see, the stage is gross and rude now. The band is on their way, and I have no time to fix it. There's a very famous band. I want to be as professional as possible. If I only had a rug or something to use, I could cover up the mess. But the town is in a disarray? I don't have time to track one down. Oh no. Thank you for your concern. If you happen to find anything that would work, please let me know. Will do. Do you have more questions? Hmm. Mm, no, I guess not. Okay, what do we got? Try to vacuum up the wizard. Maybe there's some history there. Needs a rug. 
Takes like I read minds. I can't. The mayor? Hired a cool band to play the parade. Attack the wizard. Good information, good information. Okay, let's work with the pies. We needed four more, so we got two. Mm, we need two more. Cool. Did we talk to the wizard? I'm saying not yet. This... No, I cannot see a rug-like thing. Okay. Hello. Yeah, let's wait a little bit. I want to find a pies before I talk to the wizard. Oh. Okay, one more. Cool. It's going to take ages to find it, probably. It's always like that, when there's only one thing left. Uh, oh, nice. Cool. Oh my god. There we go. We're done with the pies. Hello, Mandy. Oh my god, did not mean to do that. Tell me what you want to know. I got the pies. I found all of your pies. What? All of them? I think so. Yep, that looks like all of them. Wow, you must have searched for a far and wide. I searched this general vicinity, yes. Wowie. Thanks, detective. As promised, here's one money. Cool, thank you. I don't think you ever promised payment, but thank you anyway. You're welcome. Oh, I'll give you a fresh pie too. They're delicious. I'm not very hungry, you can hold on to it if you like. Nonsense. Take one and eat it later when you're hungry. Okay, sure, thanks. Thank you, f thank you for finding my pies. You're welcome. Yeah, now he, I can bring it to the, the, the hot tub. Nice. Oh. Oh, I like that. Amazing baker. <laughs> um, can we visit the wizard? Hello, is anyone home? Yeah, no, it says the same thing. So, let's do the tasks. Oh. Hmm. I pressed the wrong thing. Rip. Are you still hungry? Yes, very. It's making me really rude. For example, I think your jumper is outdated. Victor, I'm not the most fashionable frog in the world, but I like this but I like this jumper. It's my favorite. I like it too. You're right, it's retro, not outdated. I'm simply very hungry. I have a pie for you from Mandy. It's not from the ground? Nope, Mandy gave me a fresh one. Seriously? Score. Yep, please enjoy it. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. And I feel much less rude now. Really? Yep, you have beautiful eyes. Oh wow, thank you. It's true, and I think that co color jumper suits you perfectly. You're making me blush. I should give you something in return for this pie. Hmm, I have a spare party hat I'm not using. <sighs> Maybe you could wear it? Uh, my hat, my head is simply too weird a shape. Well, hold on to it anyway. It may might come in handy. Thanks. Nice. Okay, who wanted a party hat? The zebra, right? Shopkeeper? I forgot his name. Carlos. I remember. <laughs> Just as I said it. Oh my god. Oh, did not mean to do that. Cool, okay. Uh, hello. I got you a party hat. What would you like to know? 
I got you a party hat. Carlos, I have something for you. No way. It's a party hat. No way. Yes way. That's epic. That's honestly the most epic thing I've heard all day. Thanks, detective. Not a problem. Incorrect. It was a problem. And you solved it. Just like a true detective. Aw, oh, thanks. You've made a fan out of me. Here, let me pay you for your work. Oh no, that's okay. Detective, I insist you take payment. One money should do it. One money is not a lot. Like, if I'm thinking of one money, I think it's like... Very small. Oh, I also found this rug out back. Not sure what... What use it is... Not sure what use it is, but I figure you're, you're good at solving these types of puzzles. Gotcha. I know who needs it. Thank you very much. I'll find a use for it, thanks. Best of luck solving the mystery, detective. Thank you. Didn't Mandy... No. Susan. No. The singer. Need... Oh no, I don't have a hat either. I could probably borrow one, it's fine. I'm even invited to the parade, I hope so. <laughs> so cute. Uh, the singer. Was it Susan? No, Susan was chill. It was Susan, no. Yeah, she was the one extorting me or whatever. Oh boy. I love questions. What did you need? Five. Okay, I thought it was three. My bad. I'm not good with numbers. Uh, we got a rug, right? Nice. Uh, I got you a rug. What is it? I have found you a rug. What? Holy guacamole, this is great news. Thanks for tracking it down. This should do the trick. Wow, looks just like new. Hopefully the band won't notice the mess. I don't think they will. They're in a fish tank anyway. Why? One guess. They're fish? Bingo! Wait, do you mean to tell me? You got the most famous band of all time? The Market Buddies? Yep, they're on their way. Wow, I saw them live once and I was blown away. I can't wait. I'm excited too. I can't wait for the parade to begin. I better get back to work so I can solve the mystery before the parade starts. Before you go, I should give you something in return. Oh, I have some building supplies left over from when I made the stage. Stage. Is that enough? Sure, thank you. Nice. That goes to Ralph. Oh my god, I'm so good at remembering. What the fuck? Just one money. Oh no, that's okay. It was simply a favor. Sorry. Don't be silly. You worked hard to get me this rug. I insist. Wow, thanks. Got one money. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, okay, Ralph. He's like behind me. I think. Long snoot. <laughs> um, hello. I keep pressing the wrong things. What the fuck? Questioning me. Hi, Ralph. Hello, small frog. I managed to track down some building supplies. Oh, great. What exciting news. I love to use them if you're okay to hand them over. Of course. Did he just. That's a handy man. <laughs> Excellent, thank you so much. Of course, I must pay you for this. Oh, there's no need, really. Shh, I won't hear it. Please take a, m take a money. How money, how much money we got? Thank you. Also, I think you've earned yourself the title of honorary pirate. Wow, really, me, a pirate? Yes, you have the treasure collecting skills of the finest pirates. For this, I must award you a special prize. Here, take this hook. Susan needs that. I'm so good at remembering. Oh my god. 
Wow, what do I do with this? You can use it on your hand if you want. Or you can use it for something else. I'm not your dad. Not yet. Hmm? Sorry, I don't really know why I said that. Oh good, enjoy the hook. Frog, do you have daddy issues? <laughs> really, really sounded like it. Um, okay, no extra notes. Interesting. Hello, Susan. Always pressing the wrong thing. Uh, a hook. I'm back. You're back? Yep. I found you a hook. Oh, my stars. Thank you. I can find my... I can fix my sign right away. That's okay. I feel like I read that wrong. I would like to repay you for this hook. No, that's okay. I got it for free. I think it's free in this world. Just kidding. Our society is really progressive. And often things are actually free. As a sign of my gratitude, please feel free to use my house whenever you need. It's fairly simple, but beautifully decorated at least. I have a phone too. Phone number. Great, I'll be sure to use it at some point. Thanks, Susan. Huh. Okay, no extra notes either. Let's give her the money. Hi, Mary. Hey, detective. How's the extortion going? I think I've got your five money. Whoa, for real? I didn't think the extortion would work so quickly. That's excellent news. I'm really good at being extorted. I'll say. Anyway, do you have the information for me? Totally. Last night, I saw the postman drop off a parcel. Another person saw someone with a box. I don't know if it was her. I think it was someone else. It was around the time the parade got destroyed. I couldn't see who, who he was giving it to. But it was someone here in the town. Barney is the postman's name. He's a chill dude. I don't think he'd mind if you called him up. I have his phone number. May I have it? Absolutely. Cool, 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 cool. Thanks for giving me this money. I'm really excited to visit Froggywood. I'm excited for you. Obviously, I have to wait until the parade is over. Of course. See you around, detective. Okay. Hello, Susan. Looking fine today. Let's judge the interior. This is confusing because is 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 she, she a mom? Or is she I don't know. Oh that's cute. Anyways, business. Hmm, who should I call? I don't have any friends to call. Mysterious number. He's so cute. Hi, it's Barney. I have your speaker. Hi, Barney. Hi. Who am I talking to? Hmm. Lobster cop. Whoa, really? No, I was tricking you. Rats. Who is it? Who is this? Noodle? I'm the detective. I'm calling about an in incident that happened last night at Warlock Woods. I didn't do it. Do what? Whatever you're calling about wasn't me. Are you sure? What did I do? Last night, someone destroyed a parade which was being set up for the new resident of the town. The Invisible Wizard. I was told you were in the area when it happened. Oh yeah, I was there. I didn't destroy anything. If that was your asking. I was just deliver delivering a parcel. Who were you delivering it to? Uh, hmm. What was her name? Oh, Lola. Huh? I don't think there's anyone in the town called Lola. Must have been someone who lives there. The address was on the parcel. Though, I can't remember exactly which house it was. Sorry. Hmm. Do you remember where the parcel was sent from? 
Oh yeah, I deliver a lot of parcels from them. It was from the wizbay.net headquarters. <gasps> Who was the wizard? That sounds really familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Uh, I know Mandy buys a lot of stuff from there. But this wasn't for her. Do you know what was in the package? Some sort of shoe, I think. Maybe two, a pair of shoes. Did you get a good look at them? It was pretty dark. I have no recollection of really seeing anyone. Not even a face. Huh, weird. Warlock Woods is pretty dark, but I haven't had much trouble seeing anyone before. Me neither. It wasn't much more dark than normal, either. All I remember is a blue dress with stars on it. I'm pretty stumped on this case, Barney. Do you know, do you know if there was, were any clues left behind? A signature on the delivery slip or something? Uh, I didn't get them to sign it, but I remember something dropping over at the entrance to the woods. I tried to call out and tell them, but they stumble, stumbled off before I noticed. At the entrance to the woods, you say. I'll check it out. Okay. I suddenly crashed this van into the decorations, drove away without realizing <laughs> Cool guy, didn't see who he was delivering to, Lola, responsible driver, had me on speaker, I should search near the Warlock Woods entrance for this thing that dropped. And... Oh. This must be the thing Barney was talking about. Hmm, their glasses. The only person with glasses that I remember was the deer. Victor or Oscar or something like that. Oh, they have a name engraved on the arm. The Invisible Wizard. Well, this is my only clue left. I think I should try and return these to the wizard. She should be in the old house near Carlo Car shop. Okay. Uh, yeah. This house. Hello, is anyone home? I found these glasses. Okay, cool. We're close to finding out what's going on. Oh, we can move. There's a pie and I'm assuming Doritos. This is a maze, what the? What? <gasps> oh my god, why the fuck did that scare me? What? Why did I jump? I see a crap. Does he have something on? No. I saw the wizard here. Oh. Why did I jump? I don't get it. Another pie. I think it was her that destroyed everything. Oh my god. So annoying. Oh. A lot of pies and Doritos. Those eyes are creepy. <gasps> it's a frog and it looks like me. Ah, who's there? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the detective. Oh, thank goodness. You're here to solve the mystery. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know where my glasses are. So solve that as soon as possible, please. Thanks in advance. I found your glasses, I think. Are these yours? Ah, I can see again. That was so quick. You should get a promotion. I don't remember calling a detective to solve this mystery, but I must have done. Otherwise, why would you be here, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, no. Uh, I'm actually here to solve a different mystery. Which one? I don't mean to ruin the surprise, but the town was setting up a parade for you. Oh my god! I know! She didn't have the glasses on, so she couldn't see anything. 
So she stumbled around searching for the glasses and ruined everything. Let's see. I started to tell you that tell you that last night someone destroyed it. I've been trying to figure out why. However, I've noticed that your house is little littered with decorations. Where were you last night? I was on Wisby. I got some new shoes. I picked express delivery. They arrived last night. Oh, you're Lola. Yes. Back to my alibi. I went to pick up my shoes from the delivery guy. And then I dropped my glasses. Oh. And that's all I have to say about that. Are you sure? Yeah, I think someone else must have destroyed the parade. Perhaps one of my enemies. You have enemies? Um, yeah. Who? The guy. Evil guy. Sorry, what? Enemy. Evil guy. My enemy. Evil guy. Yeah. Are you making this up? No, evil dude is literally my enemy. Don't you mean evil guy? Evil guy. Your enemy. Yes. Where can I contact evil guy? Oh, he's not able to be contacted. He's very mysterious and is never- and is not available right now. Or ever, even. Anyway, he must have destroyed the parade. Case solved. We did it. Well done. Wow. Too bad he's not able to be apprehended, but at least we can continue with our lives. Lola, are you being dishonest? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm really sorry, it was me. It was an accident, I swear. You destroyed a parade, didn't you? I didn't know the parade was for me. That's so nice. And I ruined it. When I dropped my glasses, I couldn't find my way home. Told you. I was bumping into everything. What happened when you got home? I had some chips stuck to me, so I ate those. And then I just hid. Why did you tell anyone what happened? I'm so embarrassed about it. I only just moved in and already have made a big mistake. I'm a very shy lady. Detective. I make myself invisible so nobody can see me. That must have been why nobody saw you last night. Yes, I suppose. You become not invisible? Unvisible? Visible? If you insist. Okay, wait. I'm betting that it's an owl. I don't know why, but I'm g it's giving owl, owl vibes. It's a frog! Ta-da! You're a frog like me! Yes! I'm slightly disappointed. What? Well, it's just that I had a good joke prepared. I will do it anyway. Okay, so imagine that instead of a frog, you were revealed to be a lizard. Oh no. Okay, so you've just been revealed. Okay, pretend. Okay, it's me, a lizard. Wow, so you're not an invisible wizard after all. You're an invisible lizard. <laughs> yeah, it was a good joke. I thought so. <laughs> Detective, are you gonna tell everyone? Hmm. I'm brand new and it was a mistake. I'm worried that if you tell everyone what I did, they will be upset. I think they forgive you right away. But what if they don't? I want to make a good first impression. When you go outside, can you please tell them that it was the evil guy? There's a fib, a white lie perhaps, but who is harming really? Who is it harming really? Evil guy? Evil guy isn't real. This is a moral dilemma, Lola. Just like in my favorite ep- Oh, my throat is so dry. Just like in my favorite episode of Pyro It. It's your choice, detective. Let's face the music. What am I? Okay. Lost her glasses, totally did the crime, not real motive, but still the culprit. Glasses, yep. Shy lady, a frog. Just moved in, made a big mistake, lied about having a nemesis called evil guy. Wants me to tell the town it was evil guy. I would lie, honestly. Hello. Hi. My name is Lola. 
Hi, Lola. I'm a frog, just like me. We're so glad you could make it, Lola. I'm sorry that there's been so much com commotion trying to get the parade ready for you. Somebody destroyed it last night. Mary, don't tell her that. We're sorry that somebody destroyed it, Lola. The detective has been trying to figure out who did it. Well, detective, have you solved the mystery? I hope it wasn't me. I'd be surprised if it was any of us. I wouldn't, looking at you, Ralph. What? Ralph didn't do it, Victor. How many times do we have to tell you? I just don't trust that guy. Rude. I'm not rude anymore, Ralph. I had food. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. I didn't do it. Well, I guess we'll find out in a moment. Go ahead, detective. Okay, so. If I was Lola, I would also want someone or people to lie for me because I'm embarrassed and I don't want to make it worse. So I would just like... But like, I wouldn't lie because what if they find out? It's better to be honest. I'm always trying to be honest. But like, I don't want to be the one, like... The thing is, I am trying to be honest. And Lola doesn't want to be honest. So like, then if she... Yeah, you should listen to her. Evil guy did it. Well, I solved the mystery. Who was it? It was evil guy. Who? Evil guy is Lola's nemesis. He's a very evil guy. Yeah. He snuck in last night and destroyed everything because he hates Lola. Yeah. Unfortunately, because he's made of slime, he got away before I could apprehend him. Yeah, so unfortunate. However, Lola has since cast a very special spell that will make sure he never returns. Wow, evil guy sucks. Yeah, I'm sorry he did that to you, Lola. It's okay. At least it was nobody here, right? Right. I'm sorry I couldn't catch Evil Guy, but now we know that Lola is safe and everyone is happy that she is here. Yeah, I'm sorry that he caused such, such a big mess. Really responsible, if you ask me. I'm sure he feels really bad about it. And I want you to forgive him. Isn't he evil? Yeah, I thought he was evil. Oh, hey, Barney. Hi. What is he doing here? Yeah, he's evil. Evil guy. Well, case solved. Well done, detective. Thanks. Should we get the parade started? We didn't have time to fix up the decorations. Sorry, Lola. I don't mind at all. I'm just happy to be here. Let's party. This time, I'm gonna be prepared and not end until like the last second. Ooh, vibes. Oh, that's so cute. Wow, Barney's so cute. We got a party hat on. That's so cute. It's covering our eyes. Okay. Special thanks, super hot team. <laughs> are these like real, like some of them, are they real names that they have given? Look, it's on our eye. Poor guy. He cannot wear hats. Imagine if it's like an achievement. Like, are you still here? It's not like last time. A little bit later. So it does keep going a little bit. Oh, so cute. And we have Barney there as well. Do we have everyone in the shot? Okay, good, good, good. 
I was like, uh, Lola is not in the picture, excuse me. But Lola is there. Okay, good. Yes, yeah, supervisor. Frog detective, crime solving agency. Frog detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Detective, supervisor. It's me, the supervisor. I am aware. Great job on sol solving the invisible wizard mystery. That was quite a head scratcher. Sure was. I was shocked that the culprit was someone called Evil Guy. Oh yeah, he doesn't know. Well, yes, I mean, yeah. I checked all my files. Fi files. I don't have inform. I don't have information on an evil guy anywhere. You think with a name like that, he'd show up right away? Maybe it was a one-off crime. Yes, I suppose. I can't look like this. Sup okay, he was screaming, but like, okay. mm. Supervis su oh, supervisor, evil guy isn't real. I'm sorry to say so, but I lied on the on the report. What? I'll explain it in detail another time. But the real culprit was the wizard. She wanted to avoid the embarrassment, so she asked to pin it on a fictional character, evil guy. I did as she said, just to be kind. I'm not sure I made the right decision. Even if it's hard, we should always tell the truth. Ah, uh, I know, but like, I, I, if I would want to tell the truth, but if someone else asks me to lie, I would lie for them, you know. Like I don't want to give them trouble. I hand in my badge and my gum. What? You don't have a badge or gum? How would you even chew gum? You don't have teeth. So I can keep my position here? Well, you're self-employed, so yeah. You should remember to tell the truth whenever it is safe and possible. I promise. It's almost as important thing that there's no such thing as evil guy. I love to solve a real crime one day. Well, that might come true quicker than you think. Whoa. I just got a call about a doozy of a case detective. That sounds exciting. It is, but it's also the most challenging case I've ever sent you on. I'm confident in your abilities, but you might need backup on this one. Oh, like who? I'm going to send Lobster Cop to help you with this case. With the case. Really? Lobster Cop handles such advanced cases. Won't I just slow him down? Nonsense, detective. You've shown you're a very capable mystery solver. I think you're in the running to be the new number one. You're making me blush. You'll be a-okay. So where am I headed next? I can't say over the phone, it's too sensitive. Wow. Head to the train station. I've left a ticket for you there. The train will take you to where you need to be. Good luck, detective. Do you think you can handle it? I can handle anything. Exactly. That's the mentality you should always have. After the detective has left, I'm scared. What's going on? My notebook. The look it looked, my thought, it looked like a sloth hand. And I was like, wait, we, do, we don't deal with like any sloths. Then I remembered in the first game that we played, there was a sloth. And, um, and they wanted to become a secret something. Secret uh, agent. Huh. It just keeps going. Do we... What do we do? Such a cute worm. Oh my god. <laughs> so cute. The detective will return in. 
Cowboy County. Corruption at Cowboy County. Cool. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. These games are so fun because they're like interesting, fun dialogue and very cute. But they're not complicated and I love that. Case 2 is solved. We only have the third one left and we might have an extra one. I don't know what this is, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!